It appears that there is um, a cabal or a government within a government. The people who are keeping the lid on things, no matter how much comes out, they, they rigidly keep a lid on. Now, this UFO incident that I'm referring to is uh, I was a project engineer, and uh, we got a report which uh, we would help the, um, the air material area do some engineering on certain um, uh, missile sites. They sent in a report that said, hey, uh, we had 10 sites that went down. They were in the green, ready for a launch, and then one second, and then a few seconds later, they were all in the red. They were not launchable. And knowing how the missile systems are put together and how they're intertied and how the redundancy network goes there, it's virtually impossible for having 10 of them go down. You can have one, maybe two. But uh, all 10 and a whole flight of 10 went down, and it was called the Echo Flight up in Malmstrom. Air Force Base. Uh, long story very short, those 10 missiles uh, disturbed uh, the hierarchy of the Air Force. They sent us the project to look into it, sent a team out to find out what was happening and what happened. Well, I'm being to me at the time is that uh, there was a report that there was a UFO hovering over a launch control facility. And that was the launch control facility that would control those 10 birds. And that was apparently seen by uh, several airmen, and it was reported then. Now, at the time I got the report, I wasn't told about the involvement of UFOs. So we sent a team out, and we, we went through all the sites, checked everything out, and there was nothing wrong. All those sites came back up online, and we could not find one thing wrong, not one. We, we looked at the power poles with the transformers leading into the power system. Uh, uh, we looked at the internal power system, the electronics, everything. And there was nothing that we could attribute to this kind of a malfunction. So this becomes a very mysterious thing. Now, in the process of doing the investigation, we all of a sudden were shut down. Uh, we got a call from our representative in that particular air material area and says, Bob, uh, you're going to get a stop work order. Don't do anything more. And do not write a final engineering report. 